It has snowed a foot, it is very good, but there are some sharks, especially higher than the line of the Gilles Boirol Hollywood cliff. There's like the two rocks in the middle, and then it, you, the really clean takeoff is if you go around to the lookers right. It's also smaller that way. It'd be cool if I could just send it deep through the middle. And I, th I think I can. I, I guess I'll just be able to tell when I'm on it. I think the whole thing goes no problem at any spot. And then on that upper air, just gonna take it kind of in between like, uh, there's like the, so I'll be traversing in above it. There's like the big rock kind of bordering the right side of the takeoff and then there's a left there's like a little rock on the left side of my takeoff and I'll just take it fall in from there. Yeah. Yeah I like that.
participation and uh, well, I'll keep going for another 10 years for sure. I'm imagining the future is going to be a lot of skiing still, if I'm not competing or filming. It's always going to be around skiing and uh, all my family is skiing and my boyfriend so it's going to be about skiing but still I think I'm going to find something else to work with. I'm not into guiding or something like that. Besides from competing in the Free World Tour, I'm enjoying to filming and uh, I've done it once, it was really an experience and you can take the skiing further. So that's what I'm looking forward in the future, is to film more uh, next to the competitions. For the next three, I don't know, five years, as long as I love skiing, competing, um, yeah, I want to ski. I'm working very close with my sponsors now, so I do a lot in R&D and, and um, test their stuff. And yeah, I like writing, so I think um, my whole life I will do some ski trips and write about it. But yeah, maybe I go back to TV as an editor to make documentaries. I love working for television, so that's an option for me and I know I can go back. Um, but yeah, it's, it's changing every year. Sometimes I want to do this and then this. It's, it's open everything for me. I, I don't think about five years. I just think the next year. And I'm happy that I'm competing and I'm happy that I qualified for the next year. So I can do the World Tour next year again. And yeah, that's my, my goal for the next. I mean, I like to do pretty much anything outside. Like, my passion really lies uh, in the outdoors. And so I'm studying in school environmental law. Um, after skiing, I'd like to go pursue that. Uh, because, yeah, I've always really been in love with nature. And so skiing right now is my way of enjoying being young and um, being able to enjoy, you know, all the things life has to offer. But, you know, at some point you have to stop skiing and so, Afterwards, yeah, I hope to go into the environmental law field and I'd like to continue to travel the world and, and learn about different perspectives of, you know, how people use land and, and how they view nature and um, be able to integrate, integrate that into the legal system in the U.S. So, for now, <laughs> we go ski the Beck and have fun and enjoy the sunshine and, yeah, afterwards, probably back to school. For the future, you know, I guess I won't compete forever. <laughs> Wouldn't be a bad thing to be a professional skier forever. Uh, but what will I do in the future? Um, skiing will always be part of my life. Uh, I am a currently a Pilates instructor, raft guide, um, kayaker. But you know, as I look into the future, the next five, ten years, um, my goals would always to be part of you know have skiing be part of my life. And whether that is uh, being a heli ski guide, I've definitely looked into that. I've um, been doing a lot of heli skiing this year, and it looks like one of the best jobs in the world. I mean, <laughs> take people out and help them achieve their dreams would be incredible. Um, in the next few years, I'd like to start some extreme camps for women. Um, couple that with Pilates or yoga, and you know help women get into the steeper shoots, things like that. Give them more confidence and try and run camps around the world. So, yeah, my two goals right now, heli ski guide and also start some women's camps. My favorite place to ski in the world is definitely Alaska. There's nothing like it. I mean, it's it's everyone's dream, every skier's dream to go to Alaska. And I was just there, I had 10 days of bluebird cold smoke. It was incredible. There's spines, there's cliffs, snow is amazing. Um, you know, there's there's no place in the world like Alaska. I'm lucky enough to work with a race car driver this year and spend a lot of time in a race car and the NASCAR circuit. So yeah, hopefully do a little bit more of that. 
Uh, my name is Crystal Wright. I'm from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I'm a personal trainer and a strength and conditioning coach, and I have Wright Training. Uh, and so I've been kind of building my business over the last six years along with my skiing career, uh, which has been nice. Uh, it's been harder to leave, though, as I'm running my own business and leave my clients, but um, it's also helped me pay to be able to travel as well and also gives me something to fall back onto and it's definitely a passion of mine along with skiing so I'm hoping to continue to do both kind of side by side of each other. Actually I want to ski as long as I can and as long as I'm good in skiing I want to do that uh, but I also s uh, studied marketing business so after that I will go on a normal job and Hopefully get kids, <laughs> I would like to, and have a family, that's what I'm expecting to. But as long as I have fun uh, with skiing, I would like to do that, and yeah, I really love it. In my off season, I spend a lot of time downhill mountain biking and uh, cross training in the gym. Uh, before I started doing this more full time, I was a freestyle ski coach for about 10 seasons. And I think definitely when I'm done uh, as a competitor in the free ride scene, I want to get back into coaching or be involved in the ski industry somehow. Yeah, just kind of skiing is my life and I definitely want to continue on whether I'm competing or coaching and helping other girls get to the point I, or achieve what they want to. My, I guess my biggest strong point is picking uh, really aggressive lines and uh, the bigger cliffs. I, I've always kind of looked up to the guys and what they're doing and I've used that for my inspiration with my skiing. It's fun to do that and push myself and see how far I can get. And... My future for skiing is just, um, well right now I'm on the free ride world tour competing but I'm also a half pipe skier and I'm gonna try and qualify for the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympic Games. So I've got half pipe comps after this comp and yeah, my twin sisters are competing on a snowboard and it's going to be great. The difference between Europe and New Zealand, the mountains are sort of similar but Europe is just a lot bigger. Uh, New Zealand's really high alpine skiing and when the cloud comes in it's super foggy and it's a bit like that in Europe. And right now I'm just going to stick with skiing, you know, it's definitely my career right now and I've got a long career ahead of me. You know, so hopefully start university soon again, but right now I'm just fully concentrated on skiing and, and I can't complain, it's great. Well, in the future, I definitely still want to be free riding the next three years on a professional level. I'm a professional free rider, so I'm in a very lucky position to be able to focus on my training and skiing. Um, Motivational wise, I can imagine doing it for another five years. You know, I'm going to see how I go, but as long as I feel I'm progressing and I'm fulfilling my potential as a skier, I'm going to keep going with it because it's my life and I really, really love it. I'm also a fully certified ski guide, so I have the opportunity after free riding to be guiding and I actually do um, guide camps at the moment, like women's free ride camps, which I just did in Lech. In 2008, I completed my business degree. I did a master's, um, majoring in marketing and strategic management. I've actually run my own business for four years, so that option's also open to me to, to run my own business, and I'm a person who likes to be my own boss. I don't think I'm gonna enter into employment. Oh, what about family? Well, family plans. Yeah, I, I, I wanna have kids, you know? I, I love kids. Oh, my husband, you mean? Yeah. He has to love nature because uh, I think that would be very, he can't be someone who lives in a city. He has to love being in nature. Yeah. He doesn't have to be this amazing world-class skier, but obviously if he were, it would be really nice because we could share a passion, but if he would love climbing or something else, because I, I love climbing too, or mountain biking, for example. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, so I'm not restricting it to him just having to be a skier. I'm Marie Dubarry and 
I have a college degree. I studied outdoor education. Um, I've been sort of doing jobs for the last few years relating to that. And in the future, I would definitely like to pursue it because I love it. It's a great opportunity. Um, but my biggest passion is snowboarding. And through these competitions, I've been able to, you know, travel the world and snowboard and get support doing that. So right now, that's what I love doing. And I'm going to keep doing that until I can't anymore. And then, of course, I would love to pursue my other passions. I'm surfing a lot in the summer. And um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I will, when I stop snowboarding, I only surf. I already have a yoga instructor uh, diploma. So I'm already teaching yoga a little bit in the summer. And uh, I'm really attracted by filming and taking pictures, so artistic side. And I still don't know where I'm gonna go, but uh, life will tell me. I'm from New Zealand, and when I'm in New Zealand, I'm studying architecture. I, the timing is really good because during our sum, the New Zealand summer holidays, I have four months off university, and that's when I come and have my main com competitive season for snowboarding on the Freeride World Tour and also filming and shooting. Um, when I'm in New Zealand, I'm just studying and trying to juggle studying with the New Zealand winter, trying to get as much snowboarding in as possible. And in the future, I'll, I want to be maybe, I want to do some more snowboarding. I'm just focusing on getting my, you know, my architecture degree done. So then I will be maybe sledding and doing more filming in the back country and then but further on in my future, I'll be practicing architecture and be a registered architect. I do have a 40 hour a week job. I am an emergency veterinary nurse. I also am going to school um, to pursue uh, medicine and uh, human nursing. So in addition to snowboarding five days a week, uh, I have a very big, busy schedule. Um, but I, snowboarding is my passion and I think that I um, will continue doing it for a long time. If I, I do well on the tour, right now I'm third place and um, that will keep me going. So I think I will be back next year, but we'll see what the future brings. Yeah, the free ride competitions is uh, it's one part of my life. Uh, a couple of years ago I planned to be a uh, sports teacher, sports and chemistry teacher. But uh, I figured out over the years, I love the mountains so much, and I especially love the winter time in the mountains so much, that I ended up being a snowboard and ski guy now. Which is, uh, yeah, it's a, a life I love it very much. I spend most of my time outside in winter, and uh, also in summer I spend uh, a lot of time outside. Which, uh, it's a good combination for me to combine my uh, the competitions and work because obviously without work it's uh, difficult to get enough money. But, uh, yeah, that's my way. That's how I do it. So this is the life now I really enjoy um, and I'm looking forward to maybe after all this when I raise a family I think I will enjoy also teaching sports and chemistry in school then it will be a different life <laughs> we'll see now I'm here now it's this life I was um, injured myself of my knee. I'm still in the game and uh, I work for the World Tour, make webisode and uh, also judge. It's really different when you, uh, you are at the starting gate or uh, when you are outside because uh, it's less pressure for me and also for my uh, family because my wife and my kids watching me and follow me, support me on the tour. But for sure this year I wasn't in the game and uh, my wife, my wife was uh, really happy to uh, to have a season like this because yeah, we take so many risks and uh, when you are a father, it's uh, it's not simple. And my wife can't follow me. This she stay always uh, at home, and uh, yeah, it's 
it's good sometimes to, to be safe, <laughs> you know. Just want to tell a couple of stories about my life aside from snowboarding. For example, uh, we run what we call the line camps. We coach the next generation riders so they can improve uh, their riding, they can win some qualifiers and possibly meet us on the world tour. Because I think it's very important that in our sport we push the young riders to keep the level and raise the level of riding in general. I'm a professional skier and what I would love to keep on riding for the next years. Uh, it's like a passion. I've been living from skiing since I'm really young, so I will stick on that. And what I'm doing beside uh, skiing, what I imagine myself after those years, it will be in real estate. Because that's a good thing. You have to uh, invest the money into the real estate. So that's, that would be cool. And trying to uh, combine the environmental uh, aspect of the building the houses in the building. So integrate that kind of stuff into uh, real estate. I'm, I'm Samuel Anto Martin from Zermatt. Uh, I have two other brothers and actually I, I was born with, yeah, with a climbing background. With my brother I climbed a lot of mountains also in Alaska, Patagonia, in the Himalayans. And yeah, it's, it's a good point also to, for me it was to, to do the guiding formation. And actually right now I'm guide, I'm a mountain guide and now also professional freerider, so yeah, it's good. In winter I'm just riding and uh, free riding and uh, after that I'm ski teacher sometimes, I'm in, um, uh, instructor too for uh, the new ski teacher, so from snowboard and uh, after that I'm a builder too, uh, I'm doing uh, some home house uh, in my home place. In September, October I'm going in, this year I think I will go in Sri Lanka for surfing because I love it and uh, each year I try to I try to uh, to take two months to uh, to go in another country and, uh, and surf. Uh, two years ago it was Bali, this year it will be Sri Lanka and I will see you later. On va donner bien sûr la parole à l'initiateur, à l'instigateur de ce magnifique 17 e extrême de Verbier, Nicolas Elwood. J'aimerais euh, remercier le comité d'organisation. On était plus de 240 aujourd'hui à travailler sur cet événement. Plus de 150 médias invités, 260 guests invités. On a vraiment essayé de soigner les choses dans le détail. Et je souhaite, sans les nommer, ils se reconnaîtront à remercier infiniment du fond du cœur qui s'est engagé avec nous pour non seulement 2012 mais aussi 2013 et 2014 ce qui fait qu'on va pouvoir annoncer le calendrier bien plus tôt que cette année Merci Arlette Merci Nicolas C'est un plaisir incroyable d'être ici et c'est vrai que c'est une édition absolument magique Freeriding is going forward for sure To my snowboard. When your sky is cloudy, where's my snowboard? Where's my snowboard, Maria? Where's my snowboard? I don't know. Well, don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear it. Cause what you're saying, it's nothing new. But when you're up against it, I just smile about it. 
what works for me It just might work for you Just pull your head out of the sand And learn the guitar and make a band Cause you'll never know uh. where